Welcome back to another video. In today's video, it's the it's the video where you make an idiot of yourself, really. But let me know your thoughts on in the comments down below. The championship running, I'm gonna make an attempt at predicting it. I'm gonna waste no further time, and I'm going to leave it here and just say Burnley are gonna win the championship. I think that's where I'm gonna end it. No. I'm, I'm being serious. They're obviously going to win it. 13 points clear of Sheffield United. Who's coming second? I do I do think Luton are out of it. They're on a good run. They've got the confidence. They haven't got bad fixtures, um, although they aren't the best. They've got to play Watford, Millwall, um, a few teams down at the bottom, Blackpool, Blackburn and Middlesbrough as well. So some big six-pointers and you know you, you never count anyone, anyone out. But for me, Luton, not only do they not quite have enough to be coming in the automatics for me, I don't think the fixtures are the most kind. And then Middlesbrough as well, the three points behind Sheffield United, but Sheffield United do have that massive game in hand. Although points on the board is massive and really important, but they've also got three points in on Middlesbrough as well. And the fixtures, Middlesbrough have to play Burnley, they have to play Norwich, Luton and Coventry with a few teams down at the bottom as well, such as Huddersfield and Rotherham, in the best fixture list and it's whether they can keep that mo momentum going whilst it got stopped during the international break. So, yeah, I would say Sheffield United at this current moment in time will be coming second and be coming to the Premier League with Burnley. But there could be many twists and turns. I just feel like they've got the confidence, they've got the mentality. And with that break, it's come at the right time because they haven't been on the best of runs. They've won, lost, won, lost and won in the last five. And like I said, they've been on a bit of a blip, bit of shaky form, lost to teams that are in and around them. And they have opened up that second place spot also losing to teams like Middlesbrough and Blackburn and Luton you know teams around them like I say it's not good for confidence but the breaks come at the right time they'll have a good go at the running now they've got Norwich, Burnley still to play um, big game against Man City, West Brom so again the fixtures aren't most kind and with the FA Cup distraction it, it could be um, but I, I just feel like they've got that um, they, they've got the quality in the squad they've got the experience in the squad and in the coaching staff as well I think they'll just have enough to get over the line. However, now it comes to the tricky part of the video, the playoff spots. Because for me, from 10th to 3rd, anything could happen. I would count Middlesbrough and Luton that they are going to finish in the playoffs. Although, as I keep saying, many twists and turns can happen. 5th and 6th are well up for grabs. Blackburn on 61 points. I've, I've quite liked them under John Dal Thomason this season. They're very good at keeping hold of leads and they're good at grinding out results. And they haven't got the best of running. They've got Norwich, Coventry, Burnley, Luton and Millwall. For me, that, that's a tough running. And I can't see them getting over the line. So I'm saying that that, grab, that that place is up for grabs. Millwall as well. I don't think they have the best of runnings. They have West Brom, Luton. They have to play Holloway. Holloway is quite a tough place to go under Lima Senior. And they've got to play Blackburn. And of course, when these big teams are playing each other in the playoff spots, someone's got to get some points. But when I look at other teams' fixtures, when I look at other teams, you know, the, the confidence that they'll be on because they're on a good run of form, like Coventry, like West Brom, you know, they've got managers there that are experienced at the level or at the football clubs. And, you know, you've got managers there in Watford as well, Chris Wilder and Carlos Cobran, who have done it before. Whereas Gary Rowett, he's been in and around the uh, playoff mix, haven't quite done it yet. Uh, John Dale Thomason's new to it all. I just feel like they have the momentum, the confidence and the experience to get over the line over a Norwich as well. So I'm counting Norwich out of it. I don't think they're on the best of ones. I don't think the squad is quite good enough yet. And their fixtures are quite scary for Norwich fans. They've got Sheffield United, Blackburn, Middlesbrough and West Brom. They've also got to play QPR, Blackpool and Rotherham who are fighting for their lives. The only mid-table team they've got to play is Swansea. So a tough one in. I don't think the quality is up to standard yet. I'm not too convinced on David Wagner to play lovely football at times with the you know certain quality players that they've got at times. But that's the big word, at times. It's all about consistency if you want to be coming into playoffs in the championship. So that's why I'm ruling them three out. And it's tough to rule them three out when they have got the points on the board. And you know some of them have got a bit of momentum towards them. And I am also wanting it to be a bit interesting. So Coventry, Watford and West Brom are well in it for me. I think them three are, are, are the ones who will get in the playoffs. Well, not all three, obviously. But we'll go with Watford. Why I think they've got a big chance. Um, I'm, I'm not Jordan. But um, Luton, they've got to play Luton, they've got to play Coventry, and that's it. They've only got two teams to play against who are in and around the top six race. But they have got to play Huddersfield, Cardiff, 
who are also down there. But that means they've got to play Bristol City, Hull City, Stoke and Sunderland. Sunderland and Stoke coming towards the end of the season. Might be on the beach by then. So that's why I'm putting them in sixth. I think Watford will come in sixth. I don't know why. Um, ain't the most stable of football clubs from an outside looking in. But I do think that the quality of the squad's there. They've got time to click with this international break with Chris Wilder. From the bits and glimpses that we've seen of him so far, I think there's been good um, good performances. And I do feel like this short-term period of decent results, probably the best one in, in the Championship, I think they'll have enough to get over the line. However, it's not going to be too easy. Like I say, I've mentioned a lot of clubs, but West Brom, who are slightly ahead of them on goal difference, but West Brom have that massive game in hand. They've got to play Millwall, West Brom, um, and they've also got to play Sheffield United and Norwich, but that game in hand as well. They've also only got to play Sunderland, Swansea, Blackpool, Stoke and QPR and Rotherham, which means that's not the hardest of run-ins. And I think with their home form as well, that could carry them over the line, and it's going to be a matter of points, in it? And whether it's between them or commentary, that, that's the big question for me. Commentary on a fantastic run of form under Mark Robbins, um, you know, the, the, the last time that they lost, in fact, I've got to scroll all the way down to West Brom on the 3rd of February. So they're on a very good run. They've turned it around since that little blip, really. It was more than a wobble around Christmas time. And they've managed to settle it down. Hopefully for them, the international break can not come at the worst time. But I think they'll have enough to get that sustained run going. They've only got to play Watford and um, and Middlesbrough that's only uh, and Blackpool, Blackburn sorry that's only three teams in there and they've got to play a couple of mid-table teams as well and the only real relegation fettled teams have got to play are QPR and Dreading and who knows what the season holds then I think they'll have enough to keep that momentum going they've got quality players in the team all over the team you know when you look at that defence it's solid through to the midfield you've got players like Ben Sheave through to the attack you've got Giocares and Goddens come back from his injury and it's a very settled squad with a very settled manager at the helm. So I'm going to say Coventry are coming fifth, which means my top six is Burnley in first, no doubts there, Sheffield United in second, Middlesbrough in third, Luton in fourth, all staying the same in the top four. However, big changes in the fifth and sixth slot. I've got Coventry in fifth and I've got Watford in sixth. Um, again, it's just, it's just my prediction. Let me know yours in the comments down below. It's very very interesting because it's it's got so many twists and turns and I could be completely wrong um, which which makes it the more interesting into the relegation battle it's it's tough because it could take many twists and turns I've said it about thousands of times in this video but you've got Reading who've got that points deduction coming in it would leave them looking behind them and pretty scared um, I think they'd be on 39 points um, with that six points deduction then you've got QPR, who are on a terrible run, and Gareth Ainsworth hasn't been able to turn it around. The international break might have helped them. Uh, both of them, back-to-back -to -back defeats coming in from the international break. Again, we don't know how they're going to react to that. And then you've got Cardiff, who were looking all right, but then two without win um, under Savrim Lamucci, again, has caused them to look behind them after pulling away. Huddersfield coming into the international break um, with two games without a defeat. But I'm going to just settle this. Wigan in 24th, they're, they're gone. Obviously, they've had this, uh, the struggles financially, not paying the players. Stephen Corker's um, come out on, on LinkedIn. I think it was making a big message. Um, I think they've sorted that out now, but it just do not seem right and they're, they're, they're dead and buried for me. And really, it's come from the appointment of Colo Torre, unfortunately. Making that appointment one of the worst championship managers of all time, unfortunately. Um, has, has probably destroyed their season and you know it's given them no hope so 24th Wigan 23rd I've got Huddersfield again their running is quite scary it's, it's not looking very good for them they've got to play Middlesbrough, Watford, Huddersfield and then they've got to play Sheffield United come May they've also got Reading, Cardiff um, and Swansea and Sunderland you know could be mid-table teams there but the, the, the tough fixtures they have got it let leaves me ruin, and I think if Neil Warnock manages to keep them up, I've said it a couple of times now, it probably would go down as his best achievement. He's made some unbelievable achievements in his international career, but I think it's it's one step too far to keep that Huddersfield team up with the problems behind it, the background as well. I think American investors could be coming in in the summer, which would be interesting. They definitely need change in the boardroom, 
but it's it's one step too far for Warnock in my opinion. Blackpool in 22nd again. I don't think they quite have enough to be staying up. Uh, defensively, they're poor even under Mick McCarthy. I think, was it a 4-1 defeat to Coventry coming in off the international break? Yeah, they, they managed to beat QPR 6-1. I still don't know how they managed to do that, to be honest. Um, it, it, it shows how poor QPR were. But yeah, I just don't think they have enough to be staying in the league, which means uh, Cardiff, Rotherham, QPR, Reading and all the teams above who I think are definitely safe will be staying up. Let me know your predictions in the comments down below. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Trying to get to 50 subscribers before the end of the season with daily videos. Have a good one.